So, second day that it's been kind of gross, but I did actually go walking this morning. I talked to my mom, so I couldn't film or anything like that while doing that. But, second day for my kid. He's in school again. And Mr. Junior over here. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for him to have a girlfriend. Came home the other week with a hickey on his neck. And, oh, Lord, I lost my mind. I gave him a little pinch <laughs> Uh And then told him I was disappointed. Because, to me, it's just disrespectful. But, you know, I'm old. Whatever. But, he's growing up too fast. Totally not ready for this. But, one day at a time. Uh, I woke up this morning feeling, I don't know, a little sad. Uh, I guess the weather's not helping, being all gloomy. But, I'm just a little painful this morning. Not too bad. Definitely could be a lot worse. That's why I don't complain. I just tell you that it, it's a little painful this morning. I'm just ready to get the day started, get to work. Get things done, over with, so I can come back home and clean my house and do all the other mom stuff. You know, the cleaning, the laundry. Luckily, everybody around here does their own laundry other than towels and stuff like that, so it's pretty nice. They do really nice around here. <clears throat> Trying to help me and keep up with stuff because I can't do it all and they know it but it's what family's for best to work together as a team hopefully somebody out there's watching this can understand that start making these kids do their own laundry make them wash their own dishes make them take care of themselves before they are an adult because guess what when they're an adult and they've never had to take care of themselves, they never leave. You want them to grow up. You want them to be an adult. You want them to move out sooner or later. I don't care if it takes until they're 20. I don't care if it takes until they're 22. But they have to have some drive. They can't just sit here and act like they don't have anything and they have no life and their parents haven't done nothing for them. Because guess what? These parents have done a shit ton for their kids and still have problems. Well, one of these days, my son's going to come to me and go, Hey, Mom, I'm moving out. And I might actually cry a little bit because he is my baby. The last kid I'm ever going to have. But at the same time, I'm almost ready, you know, just to be able to have mom time and not be counted on and just to not have to wake up so daggone early on a Saturday or, you know, just whatever, just a little bit of relief, but don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trade this for the world. I love my children more than anything. And I always will. And anytime they need me, I'll be there. Even if they've done something stupid. Because my parents were always there for me. And I couldn't ask for better parents. I still call my mom every day and talk to her. And I talk to my dad, but he's so daggum busy. <laughs> Um, just make sure you keep going get out there do something don't sit around 
doesn't help anybody out, you or anybody. Even if you feel like crap. Even if you have a stomach issue, please get up. Do something. That's what I have to tell my kids all the time. Because they're always making excuses. And excuses are not where it's at, people. And it's just like getting butt hurt over all the shit you see on Facebook. Stop it. It's pointless. Who gives a shit what the other person says? They don't fucking matter. You do. Stop getting butt hurt. All of you. too much other shit to have to worry about to worry about the fact that somebody said, you know, Julia or, you know, Raymond or whatever did something today. Who gives a crap? You're important. Your children are important. Your family's important. Your kitties, your puppies, they're important. But when it comes to just any Tom, Dick, or Harry that is out there talking shit, they don't fucking matter. Don't, don't give in to this bullshit. You can live a lot happier life like this when you don't have bullshit in your life. I got away from it. There was a lot of bullshit going on in my other house. And that's why I moved. I just, I wouldn't put up with it no more. And I don't think anybody should. I think you should, if you need to change, change it. Don't just sit there and keep doing the same day-to-day -day routine. Do something about it. All right, have a great day, everybody. See you next time.